Day four. Good morning. Rise and shine, Crumb. I know you're working hard to prepare for war and all, but it's a good idea to record your progress once in a while. It might save you one day. Hehe. <laughs> right now, I'll let you get on your own way. Okay. Off we go. Uh. Let's see. Anybody has an urgent job for me? Mm. Ah, she has an urgent job. They've been having trouble Hello. with something, but the captain is so busy, I don't want to bother them. You wanna happen to have a moment with your apprentice? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. I knew you would be the one to ask. Certainly. As you know, Commander Angeline put me in charge of rationing the food. Everything was fine um, up until a couple of days ago. Hmm. I wonder. The rate of food depletion is going faster than it's supposed to. As far as I know, there are only two possible explanations. One is that the Royal Commander made a mistake calculating the food schedule. I'm sorry, but I just don't see that happening, so that only leaves one real possibility. Certainly. Someone is stealing the food. Every night, I've been leaving traps on all the doors to catch the thief, but as far, so far no clues have turned up. I mean, it's not like a thief could break in during the middle of the day. And with me standing right outside, no less. Uh. Okay. Quick qu qu quack. That sounds like it came from the castle ladder. Apprentice, come quack. Sensing danger, run into the building with your bow and arrow drawn. <laughs> Flaming feathers, apprentice! Those sneaky rats would have made off with the entire stock if I hadn't been there. Stars Reach has never had a rat problem before. How could you so many of them appear all at once like that? Maybe it was just all the fresh food that drew the rats. I'll be sure to tell the commander what you did for the castle, Certainly. and what you did for me. The winged trader stares up at you, as if waiting for you to say or do something. Unacceptable. Where is the castle ladder in such a state of disarray? You are in charge of organizing the rations, are you not? <laughs> um, sorry ma'am, it was the strangest thing. I was speaking with the apprentice when a bunch of rats suddenly appeared and... Move out. Explain why you're clean, you got food splattered all over you. This isn't some nest for you to rest, roast, roost in. Chop chop. Certainly. G yes, first ma'am, guard ma'am. With a helpless look on her face, the traveling merchant flutters off to reorganize the castle ladder. I trust everything is in order. And what were you doing here, apprentice? Trying to get extra ration, I wager. Just because you're here on Durandal's stead doesn't mean you get special treatment. That's an order. You're a soldier of Star's Reach now. Act like it. And do something about that haircut. It looks sloppy. The first guard shows past you and begins so, uh, scolding the dog guards for drowning on duty. Between the shouts, you hear a sight of sadness come through the window of the trial manager's quarters. Even though it stopped the rats, that's still a lot of food for one person to clean up on their own. Mm. Open the door. I remember this. There was something here. Thinking this is a good chance to spend some time alone with the traveling muncher, you turn the handle and step through the door. When you bash no big deal and pressure, you go back into castle ladder to offer help cleaning up. However, upon entering you realize it was a very big deal. A very big deal indeed. Not only did you surprise the merchant causing her to lose her balance, you, but you caught her in the middle of changing clothes. Oh my. <laughs> Why is she changing clothes in here? Flaming feathers! What? What are you doing in here, apprentice? Quack, don't look at me! With tremendous beat of her wings, the traveling merchant blasts you out the door and into the lower courtyard. Ouch. Landing on your back with a thud and gazing upon into the sky, you have a moment to reflect on what just happened. Your discipline has been greatly increased. <laughs> nice. <laughs> apprentice.
Uh, I think I'm done. You have my thanks. Appreciate you completing your task early, Apple Smasher. But can you report wait until our agreed time? Well, preparations are keeping my schedule quite full. Okay. Apprentice. Ah, Apple Smasher crew. <laughs> She's calling me by my title, that's great. Just who I wanted to see. I must I've received consider. word there was an incident with the food supplies. The traveling merchant me just told me you thwarted an attempt to steal food from the castle ladder. Agreed. I'm sure she mentioned rats have never been a problem at Star's Reach before, but my father said even the smallest crack can break stone. I have no time for games. Which is what leads me to believe these rats may be part of a larger scheme. You have my thanks for taking action, but I must ask you an impression of this situation. I must consider. Maeve was quite frazzled, to say the least, more so than I have ever seen her before. Agreed. Despite her friendly and yet clumsy appearance, Maeve is a strong woman. I've witnessed her survive a goblin ambush. Forgive me. The traveling merchant went as far as to let herself be captured in order to protect a group of elders traveling in her caravan. I have no doubt she did her part to aid you in defeating the rats. She seems a bit off in giving me the details. Apprentice. It seems as though she was embarrassed to tell me something. I do not mean to pry, but for the safety of Star's Reach, I must ask you if anything else happened. Okay. I can tell you, I accidentally saw her naked. Apprentice. I see. That would explain much, actually. I must consider. Eve's account of the incident seemed to be foggy after the first guard scolded her for having rat droppings on her clothes. Forgive me for prying into you and her personal affairs. We're not used to having men in this castle, so I'm not entirely surprised. But isn't there like a, a guard that is a dude? You have my thanks. I appreciate your honesty and maturity of your confession, Apple Smasher Chrome. You can trust, I will not share this information with anyone, I should definitely change that title. Commander seems to have gained more respect for you. Aha! Nice, very nice. Farewell. Let's give an apple to this beast. The dark griffin gives you out a quick chirp before watching and waiting for you to do something. Yeah, this doesn't change, so give me the apple. Get those points, maybe one day. Of course, the Griffin is the best girl. Uh, let's see. Let's do some more training. No, not with her. Let's go with Gio first. Yeah, 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 the other training. What took you so long? I have other soldiers to train. You shouldn't keep me waiting for you like that. Sorry about that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Right. Forgive you this time. Just don't do it again, okay? Uh, I mean, not. it's pretty obvious you want to continue archery training. We're just making sure there is an open station. You're welcome. Notice she's referring to the station immediately in front of where she stands to observe. Huh. So are you ready or not? Say something. Would you like to begin training? Yeah. Huh. Remember what an A shot you were with those dual commands? Oh, that's peanuts compared to what I have planned for you today. Huh. What commands? Right. That means a tiny little man brain of yours is going to have to remember a target sequence of four. So if I say right, left, up, down, you should right, then left, then up, then down. Huh. Messing up the order in any way is a fail. You got that? Got it? Huh? huh? Oh shit about that. I bet you can't get past these sh past three shots. Huh. Don't say I didn't warn you. We're not yet done yet. Now shoot the target in this order. Oh, oh did you? Doesn't matter. Do the next target order. After making your final shot, you turn around to find the instructor transfixed on your targets. <gasps> He's already mastered the quad command. The archer instructor's eye snaps to you like a hungry shadow cat. You think you're so special because Durandal chose you just because you made a few lucky shots? That doesn't make you special, you stupid sloppy wolf. I uh, <laughs> want me to show you how a proper archer shoots. Damn, soon there is. The old girl shoves past you and steps into the fighting position. Spirits of the wind. Oh my. As the old girl pulls back her bow, a vortex of wind twirls around her. 
a panty shot classic. She released the arrow with a flash of light and a burst of energy. The energy blast is so interesting that before realizing you were swept off your feet, down on your back with a tremendous thud. <laughs> yes, click to continue. <laughs> Slowly you peer up from the ground to behold the tightest ass you have ever seen. Many travelers have spoken of the beauty of elf woman, but you've never imagined it could be this beautiful. Nice. <laughs> so what did you think of that, fanboy? My mother was the greatest archer in the kingdom, and she told me everything she knew. Trying to stand up before anyone noticed, you trip over your bow and begin falling headfirst into the archer instructor. Classic harem shenanigans. You instinctively reach for the closest thing to grab onto. No, not her panties, her belt, of course. However, that did not help the situation. Pulling on her belt, it catches on her panties, sweeping them away, like unveiling a magic trick. And nothing to stop you from momentum, your face plants between two soft pillows. <laughs> nice. <laughs> did you just touch my tra la la with your face? I knew it. You're nothing but a pervert. A T looks like a G. How dare you attempt to sully the purity of my body. You stupid, Ew. sloppy... Jesus, I can't read that. The archery instructor releases her bow and begins charging up her attack just as before. Only this time, she's aiming at you. I'm going to kill you like the disgusting man pig you are. You have no choice but to run for your life back to the inner castle dodging arrows. Alright. To the yard. Gotta avoid her. Yo. Let's talk to her first. <laughs> that girl has spirit, alright? Not just the ones she can call from the wind. Yeah. When I got into one today with the commander, he used her elven magic. Growing up, I always heard about the powers of elves, but I'd never seen it before that day. Yo. Wind and debris were swirling all over the place. If I didn't have my great sword to hold me to the ground, I would have been swept away with the other guards. Right. Just when you thought it was over, the commander came flying down from the sky and caught her completely off guard. Wham! Knocked out! Over! <laughs> it was one of the coolest fights there had ever been at the castle. Would have thought Elena was so powerful. Is that so? Guess those stories about her mom training her are for real. Did you hear about those? Yeah, I believe it. Right? Must be something to have abilities like that. Humans like you and me have to make our own way, eh? Mm -hmm. Training? Right. I was wondering if you were going to be training today. I'm free right now if you want to go a couple of rounds. Training with the sword instructor will increase your strength. Would you like to begin training? Yes. <laughs> Hope you would say that. Why don't we skip the warm up and go right into a combo of 12 hits? By the gods, you sure are learning how to swing a sword. I just can't seem to phase your skill now, can I? We should call it a day. I can see some other soldiers need my attention. <laughs> if you're not busy tomorrow though, you know where to find me. Keep the pointy side up, apprentice. He's keeping something up, alright? Let's see if she has a job for me. Hi. Hmm? Yeah, I wasn't sleeping. It's difficult to take a nap with all that sword training going on. If only there was a way for me to get some peace and quiet. Maybe I could yawn. Think of something. Can't imagine it's a good idea to have a guard sleeping on duty, but she should. She just looks so peaceful. I'll probably make a pair of wax ear plugs for the ram guard if I try hard enough. Okay. Like many kids, you tried to run away with the traveling circus. Since your job was to clean the harpy cages, they taught you how to make wax ear plugs. Even though you didn't make the walks in. Oh, there was some backstory here with this. With the... Merchant. And the harpy escaped to destroy the circus. Yeah, I remember that. You're pretty sure you can do it right this time. It takes time, but you manage to get a candle wax, bee wax, and some of your own ear wax. <laughs> you melt them down together and roll the wax into two small balls. You have successfully created wax ear plugs. Huh? Can I get a okay. girl get some sleep around here? Present the wax ear plugs to the ram guard. 
made these to help you sleep better. Hmm, thanks. I'll give them a try. The ram guard stares at the walks here plugs for a moment before attempting to eat them. <laughs> no, don't eat them. Luckily, you managed to stop her at the last moment. They go into your ears like a corking potion bottle. Hmm, is that so? Okay. The ram guard cautiously, cautiously puts a plug into each ear and begins to smile. <laughs> this is great, I can't hear a thing. The shouts are so loud, draw some attention from the soldiers standing nearby. Thanks, apprentice. Now I can finally get some sleep. The wisdom has increased. Alright. Aha. Hmm. I should change the title because that's. <laughs> Foxy Chrome. That's a wrestler. Servant of Fire. Sleepy. Go with Bowman. Oh, a new banner. Let's see what's in the gallery. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> hmm. So maybe I should get some fan art. Now nah, continue. All right, go to sleep. Go to sleep, yo. Day five. Good morning. Alright, another wonderful day at Star's Reach. You shouldn't take it for granted though. An attack could happen at any moment, so it's important you're ready at all times. If you were attacked, I reckon you wouldn't have time to change equipment. So choose your equipment wisely. Or, as we bunny folks say, rest to impress. Tee hee! Take care now, I'll be outside if we need anything. Hmm. Alright, what day is it? Apprentice. Word has reached my ears that you've completed another special job I tasked you with. Well done. Well done. I must consider. However, there was one part of the report by which I wished to inquire. The girl that your sister told me. Whatever the commander was going to see, it seems like it will have to wait. Her attention is suddenly drawn to an approaching hawk, which lifts an arm to greet. Forgive me. Master Carpenicus, your arrow comes as a surprise. She have food and water prepared at once. Pardon my interruption, Commander Angeline, but it seems my function has been reduced to that of an electronic email. <laughs> Not that you know what that is yet, I suppose, but a clever invention. What? No matter. I have an important message regarding the villagers and en route to Fort Isaac. Hold on, let me remember. It was a long flight, and the air is so dry lately that I seem to have forgotten the words. What? The crotchety old bird settles in for a long, hard brain search. Can't help but feel it reminds you of someone. However, before you can get too far in your own brain search, you're interrupted by the first guard. Well. Commander, we find this goblin at the wall at the west gate all alone. He says he has a message that he will only deliver, deliver to you personally. The first guard approaches a grinning goblin in armor forward. Just give the order and I'll happily beat the information out of him. Or throw him in the prison tower for a night or two. You have my thanks. Thank you, first guard. Please let the goblin speak. What? But commander, you're not going to actually give the goblin audience. He could. Yes, commander. Mean, yes, right away, commander. Lisa, think. 
We should bring over to deal trade from the mighty and generous King Sagrando. Great King Sagrando wish a to propose a trade deal with you, sir. Why should Trubert of Stars reach, sir? Yep, yep. Human people should know it's uh, dangerous to wander off the path, sir. We sir, found some of that belongs to you, sir, so we only want to give them back, sis. Also, the humble King Sagrando asks in return, sir, the mana stones. Um, how dare you attempt to dictate terms to the royal commander? I've got some terms for you. Tell us where you're keeping the villagers or I'll start breaking your fingers. King Sagrando said you would say that. So you didn't tell me to location. And don't bother looking, cause you are never gonna find it. Nah ha We said all of everything. That's a lie. You're lying. Tell us where you're hiding the villagers. Silence. Oh my. Ah yes. That was the magic word to unlock the letter scroll I'm carrying for you, Commander. Silence. And just like that, the rolled up scroll with a blue wax seal appears out of nowhere. Sadly, the goblin is right though. You will not manage to find the missing caravan in time. Misa tells you. Goblins, King Grundle, more smarty pants than you, sir. What the fuck? Ahem. I wasn't finished. The goblin's antagonistic laughter is immediately cut short by the bird's mock cough and the commander's stones wall impression. Thank you. Now as I was saying, commander, you find won't, uh, you won't find your kidnapped villagers in time. That's why Durando sent me with this map that will lead you directly to them. At this aid, I'd say your or estimate rescue time should be no more than... What? How say you know that? No fair, you a cheat, Bert. Thank you, Master Copernicus, but I do not wish to keep you. Let's speak again once you're Rested from travel. You see, reduced to a common messenger pigeon. Ivy League education, three PhDs, and I'm being shut off like an unwelcome guest. Next time that wizard asks me to, send the bird off with a brisk but courteous note, he flies away mumbling and grumbling under its breath. Commander Angeline hastily diverts her attention back to the first guard. Guards. Please signal the con convoy to continue onwards to Fort Isaac. I'll find the missing villagers and catch up with them. You're in charge until my return. Yes, Commander. Yes, right away, Commander, but... But what should I do about the goblin? War is coming. He's coming with me. I thought this. Yeah. Keeps that the beast away from me. No! As if understanding exactly what Commander Angeline said, the dark griffin pounces on the terrified goblin. Instead of the griffin attacking, he just grabs the goblin like a run ball player about to make a sprint for the goal. As the Commander climbs onto the beast's shadow and takes hold of the reins, she gives you a final look before setting off. Bowman Chrome. Yes. The griffin enormous wings extend and begin beating on ground the spearing prize of the goblin. And just like that, the commander was no more than a twinkle in the sky. Unacceptable. How long do you plan on staring up at the clouds like that, Crumb? You act like you've never seen someone fly on a griffin before. Chop chop, back to work. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Okay. Mm, how about you? Greetings, traveler. Yeah, it's a job for me. Squirrel! Right up the tree. Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot the squirrels aren't that exciting for humans. No, my job is to stand guard at my post. I just can't stop myself from chasing squirrels. Can you clear them off so I can focus on my duties? If the first guard catches me squirrel hunting again, I'll be in real trouble. Having a pretentious us, a rodent remover for a couple of days, you know squirrels can cause a great deal of wolf damage to wood. If commander plans to use the wood, perhaps it would be wouldn't be bad yet to remove these squirrels. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You are different than normal humans, by the way, you smell. Go get him, tiger. Head into the castle wood behind the archer range. First chasing away scores was kind of a joke, but maybe from being around the wolf guard or your own primal instincts awakening, you begin taking the squirrels. Hunt very, very seriously. No more castle. No more apprenticeship. No more job. This is now man versus squirrel. <laughs> what the hell? Several hours later, you emerge from the castle wood as a champion. 
Walking up with two caged jam packed full squirrels, the wolf guard is marveling at you. That's the most squirrels I ever laid eyes on. <laughs> You're the greatest. Maybe we should call you Squirrel Hunter. Squirrels are probably difficult prey for a human. You deserve a reward. How about a kiss? I always wanted to kiss a human. The wolf guard pounces on you and moves her face close to yours. You close your eyes and pucker your lips to meet hers. All of a sudden, you feel a sloppy wet tongue lick your nose. <laughs> It tastes pretty yummy. You're a good kisser. Maybe we should. Bird! The wolf guard runs off, jumping into the air, trying to poke at a pigeon with her lance. It appears squirrels weren't the only thing distracting her from guard duty. I wonder what I'm going to do with all these squirrels now. <laughs> Alright. What should I do? Hey, bird. Twitter doesn't want to see anything. Let's talk to her. Commander is a good leader and all, but like, does she have to do everything by herself? It's like she doesn't trust us. I'm the best archer in the castle. Not even that, the kingdom. I just as much right as any soldier to va face Valtes, and she wouldn't let me join the assault. How am I not supposed to take that as an insult? Imagine how it makes me look in front of the other soldiers. I knew the meeting with the Goblin King was a trap. Right. Seriously, I told the commander, the first guard, pretty much everyone. But no, she let the sword captain go in without me. She treats me like a child, even though I'm technically older than her. Kind of like you treat me. That sucks. You don't even know the half of it. <laughs> Alright, training. I told, you, I told you not to keep him waiting. Whatever. Yes, this is like early for you. So what, you ready to start training? Yes. Uh, probably <clears throat> not. I was going easy on you before with those basic commands. From now on, we're going to be using, like, cut sequences. Probably Remember how I told you we shoot specific targets? Well, in real battle, a cow, the target sequence, the enemy could hear it and adapt. Uh, probably not. That's why today we'll be moving on to reverse commands. So that means you will need to shoot in backward order. Oh, and since you're doing those special boy, let's skip double reverse commands and move right on to triples. So when I see you shoot left up and right, yeah, whatever. Get on with it. Don't get too comfortable. Wait till you hear the next three sets of reverse order. Try not to screw up. This time try to remember this three sequence in reverse order. Hmm. Instead of the usual tantrum, the instructor forces a calm demeanor. Thank you, apprentice. Your training is complete for today. Your performance was attractive. What? I mean acceptable. Your performance was acceptable. We'll continue with reverse commands on your next training session. Next soldier, let's go! Intent with not acknowledging her verbal slip-ups, Elena's campers to help the next soldier. Okay. See you. Let's go to the North Yard. Yo. Mm, talk to her first, then training. I've been meaning to congratulate Sunny on her promotion to magic instructor. Good for her. I'm I've been trying to get a hold of her to help me with something, but she never leaves the mage tower. Now she's shy and all, but she's never been this hard for me to get hold of. Is that so? Since you're Durandal's new apprentice, you've probably talked to her more than I have recently. What's she been up to? Uh, she's working on new spells. Right. Ah, she's such a good little kid. Working so hard. I wish I had her discipline. <laughs> I feel silly for taking her absence personally. She's just doing her best to prepare for the final battle in her own way. That's <laughs> okay. something I can respect. Come on, apprentice. Let's take a page from the magic instructor's book and put in some extra hours training. Alright. Right. I was wondering if you are going to be training today. I'm free right now if you want to go a couple rounds. Training with the sword instructor and blah blah blah. Yes. Hello. Is that the alchemist lizard? I wonder what he's doing out here. Got it. Hey, I just got an idea. How about we use the alchemist lizards for some sword training? Uh, what? Of course I don't mean to hurt the poor thing. No. Throw him in the air with the wolves for you to avoid. Let's see if we hit the wizard, your count will be reset to zero. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. This is annoying. The thing we were skipping this. Oh, you'll be alright. The alchemist used some prototype squishy squishy potion on him, so he's practically invisible. What? No matter what you hit him with, he bounces right off you, see? Let's try that again. And go back to basics to make you feel more at ease. Why don't you start with giving me cuts without hitting the lizard? Sort of. 
See? Told you the lizard would be fine. No. Yeah, I could probably go on and around if you... Huh? Sorry to interrupt your special time with the bowman. But I have a message for you, Brea. The librarian wants to see you or something. Alright, I was supposed to, uh... Got it. Help her compare facts with the book about melee combat. Yeah, that's right. Sounds made up to me. But whatever, it's not like I care anyways. Ish. Next time find someone else to deliver your messages. I'm an artist, not an errand girl. Not that you even know what art is. The Gorgon Guard gives you and the sword instructor a hiss before strutting off. <sighs> Try to cut out a training short, apprentice. I gotta run. <laughs> we'll pick up where we left off next time, I promise. See ya. I trust everything is in order. You have done a great job around the castle. You show true character today. Some of the guard is saying it was the devil's luck, but I don't believe in that. I respect that. Showed character and respect Very that. Well. Normally I would do the castle run myself, mm. but the, with the role commander away on urgent job, I'm in charge of war preparations. I have a bad feeling. You never know when he could send more goblin assassins. That's an order. I want you to make the castle runs for me today. We will accept this job. Yes. Very well. Good. Make your way around the castle and make contact with each guard. That's an order. But that doesn't mean chit chat or distracting them from duty. Once you have received a report from each guard, come back to me here in the lower courtyard. Mm. Voltis hasn't crossed the sea towards us yet, so there shouldn't be any urgent news to report. But that doesn't mean we can let our defenses down. Move out. Any questions? Good, then get to it, soldier. Hey, approach the dog guard. Instead of opening her scroll pad like usual, she thrusts her fist forward with her thumb pointing upwards. Okay. Forest. Hmm. The hidden forest has been quiet. Too quiet. Of course. I have nothing to report, but the animals must sense trouble approaching. Hmm. Where's the gate? What's this? Yeah. We've been collecting lumber from the forest edge to reinforce the gates. Progress is going slower than we thought, but something behind you catches the orc guard eyes. I could have sworn I saw moving shadows just now. Anyway, we get ready to close the gates. It's going to get dark soon. And tell the first guard there's nothing to report. Mm -hmm. The closer you get to this mysterious person, the more darkness clouds the edges of your vision. It's you, the girl from my dream. Yes. You can actually see me, yes? <laughs> Looks like I was right to choose you after all. You're right here, just like Durandal told me you would be. Of course. Now you help me into the castle. A graceful and silent movement, the mysterious dark elf steps into your personal space. Hmm. The orc that guards the west gate, you see her over there, yes? I need you to... Why don't you remove her from me? Now. Uh, is this another one of my crazy dreams? Or is this Dark Elf really asking me to do what I think she's asking me to do? No, that orc is my friend. Normally I would never hit a lady, but I can't let you into that castle. Yes. Intend to defend Star's Reach, yes? <laughs> First thing blindly because they put roof, a roof over your head. I have other allies within the castle walls. Yes. Perhaps one of the instructors, yes? Mysterious woman steps forward. Every muscle in your body seems to freeze. She's so hot, I can't move. Of course. Don't worry, Crumb. We'll be together very soon. You can trust me on that. Disappointing. Like some people in this castle, I would never lie to you. Be a good boy and keep this little meeting a secret until then. The scent of lavender fills your nose and she moves within inches of your face. Yes. I promise to give you the reward you most desperately seek. Huh. Moves her lips to within mi microns of yours. <laughs> With a torrent of rushing air, the girl sweeps past you. Quickly turning around, you see her jump up from the bridge onto the tree and over the castle wall. Black clock trails behind her like the shadow of a flame. Can the guard not see her? Hey, what's this? You've obtained black clock. This item can be equipped in your room. That was definitely unusual. I should report this to the first guard. However, just as you get to leave, something catches your eye. From under the bridge, three small figures with ragged clothing hobble out. 
Having encountered a similar group on your first day at the castle, you instantly recognize them as goblins. What? Hey, Captain, looks up behind us. There's one funny haired boy nine on the other bridge. What? Who's that? that? He's not supposed to be here. Quick now, you make him kill dead and meet us at the gate. Yep, yep. Goblin bangs on his shield twice in sync with his response to the raid leader before charging at you. Looking past the goblin raiders, you see the our guard drop the wood she was carrying and die for a lance and shield. Apprentice! They're trying to block us from sounding the alarm. I take this tree, you take that one. Fight by axe. First to attack, hurrah! And those final words, the our guard thrusts her lance at the group of rushing goblins. I have no time to see if she hits her target for another more pressing matter reminds itself to you. There is still one goblin charging towards you and he doesn't look friendly. There's a nice boots man boy. Man, boy, <laughs> Mr. Take them after I take your neck beard. All the circumstances feel familiar to you. The way you feel inside is completely different. Where there was fear, there is now focus. Where there was terror, there is now technique. The one to the boy now stands a. Uh, oh, time will tell about that. No. Black Tor, forget man, boy. There's orc woman at gates. Help us surround her. But me wants man boots. Me wants man boots now. You said get my boots in your behind if you didn't get back quick now. What? Yes, Captain Sir, Missa coming quick fast. As the goblin falls in line, the rain party begins circling your guard. Oh. Apprentice, you have trained with the archer instructor, have you not? Without the target aura, you keep the goblins off my back. Hmm. Nice. Goblin Slayer, you defeat the goblins. There were no match for your dexterity. Five fighting you did back there, apprentice. Good to know you can be counted on during a scrap. No time to celebrate a victory, apprentice. You got to report what happened to the first guard. Stay here with the shriffraff until reinforcements arrive. Stay sharp. Okay. There you go. The report. A small raiding party of goblins just attacked me in the orc guard at the west gate. Managed to stop them before they could cause any harm, though. Good work, soldier. I will expect nothing less from the Orc Guard, however, I'm impressed you lent a hand. This car will be sent to the West Gate to assist right away. Is that all, soldier? You look like you had something else to say. When you have information that you do not, you may be present with the option to lie or withhold information. Hmm, let's be truthful this time around. I'll draw and I'll play through to see the other options. There is a dark elf intruder in the castle. Tried to stop her on the bridge, but she escaped and went over the castle walls. This black cloth was the only thing left behind. Left guard inspects the symbol and markings that cover the black cloth. I'll be right. This cloth marks a follow of votes. Guards, sound the alert! That's an order. Stay in your room until we have apprehended the intruder. No one is going in or out of Star Reach tonight. First guard returns the black cloth to you and begins organizing search parties to find the intruders. Huh. Let's see. Oh my. <laughs> Click to interact it says. What exactly am I interacting with? There's secret scenes. Then right, let's unlock one. Oh my! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save and then end it here. Huh. <laughs>